Hi everyone, today we are going to build a choose your own adventure game using Python. I have REPL set up and I'm working in the main.py file. Let's begin. Our game is going to loop continuously through the adventures until our player decides to quit. To set this up, I'm going to create a variable called game start and set that equal to yes right away. Next, we have to decide which loop to use for our game. There are two different options in Python. We have the for loop, and we have the while loop. The difference between these two is this number right here. The for loop is best for when we know exactly how many times we want to do something. The while loop is best for when we don't know how many times we want to do something or if we want something to happen forever. So for our game, we're going with the while loop. Now our while loop needs a condition and then a colon. And we are ready to get started with our actions and setting on the next line. Using the print command, I am going to type out my first sentence of the game. And to make things easier, I'm using double quotes anywhere that I have a string. So in between the double quotes, let's get started. Watching TV, home alone, and the power in your bedroom goes out. You go downstairs to check it out. Now, before we handle our player's action with this statement, let's make sure that our loop for the adventure ends at the right time. Right now, if I click run, I see my first sentence over and over and over again. We don't want that. So to fix this, we are going to ask the player if they want to start over. Using the same game start variable, you're going to take input from the player and ask, do you want to start over? Now, when I click run, I see my first sentence and then I see the last sentence at the end of my game. Do you want to start over? If I type yes, then game start is equal to yes, so our loop goes through again. And it will continue until I type anything else. So if I say no here, then our game quits. Now, we can handle our first action. So, do you want to go downstairs to check it out? I'm going to create a variable called answer1. I'm going to set that equal to input, so we can take input from the user and get their answer. Yes or no. Now notice the pattern here with a variable and input. We need to put our input value somewhere in order to use it. So now when I click run, you're watching TV at home alone and the power in your bedroom goes out. Do you go downstairs to check it out? Yes or no? Now our player can type yes or no. And then after that, because we haven't added anything else, we jump to the end of the game and we are asked if we want to start over. I can type yes, start the game again, and then if I type no at the very end, then our game quits. And that is the first part of our Choose Your Own Adventure game. 